Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are finally back with some Void to go. You know, I love this game, uh, and even if it took us a little bit to get back to it, we're, we're finally here. Uh, last time we played, we checked out this, uh, you know, we played as that character for the first time ever, and we also, so Karkamis, so we're gonna be playing him again, um, and uh, we, we tried to do it with Jimbot, which was really, really cool, but this time we're gonna try it with the Backbuckler uh, power up here. So, the Backbuckler is a one-of-a-kind shield invented by the brilliant scientist Karkamis, attached to a spring. The shield is worn on the back, covering the wearer's butt and protecting it at all costs. Karkamis came up with the idea for the back buckler after being constantly terrorized by his cheeky robot drone, Jimbot. For fun, Jimbot would shoot at Karkamis's butt, causing the scientist no end of annoyance. But Karkamis was determined to put an end to Jimbot's behavior. When Jimbot realized that his butt shooting days were over, thanks to the back buckler, he was overcome with a mix of emotions. Initially, he was sad and upset and spent four long days listening to emotional music and crying like a teenager. But as time passed, eventually, moved on uh, by writing an emotional haiku. But shooting days are gone. Now my lasers miss their mark. Sad robot drone weeps. <laughs> Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We can really use whatever weapon we want. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the shooting star, I think. Um, and uh, so last time also we tried out impossible difficulty because we had beaten rogue mode, right? We had uh, beaten uh, intense mode. We'd even beaten brutal mode. But we could not beat impossible mode. Um, and so uh, we're, we're not going to worry about impossible. We are going to go back to... Um uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go to intense mode because I want to just try. Actually, no, I lied. We're gonna go to brutal mode because we do get a little bit more void fragments, and we're trying to, uh, you know, get. Uh, there's one more, I think, character that we want to try to unlock here, um, and so we need to get a win with this character uh, to get his character essence. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty sick though that we just what can defend our back. That's a. It's a very uh, like boring item, but it's one that is, I think, going to be very good, and it's also nice that we don't have to worry about it, especially because Jimbot made it where we were firing where Jimbot was and not where we were. Um, and so yeah, Are you, you saying that wasn't a haiku? Haiku the first, so the first line had six syllables instead of five. That's an allegation. Uh, we will we will have to uh, check it out. Um, after we go back to the hub world to see if you are correct in your allegation. Also, I think audio is probably a little bit loud. I'm going to be a professional streamer. There we go. Okay. So, if you don't know what this game is, we're, we're looking. Uh, this uh, That's a beggar. It's probably worth it if we actually have money to give the beggar, but we do not. Our money is in the top right. Um, so, we're not on impossible mode, which truly was so hard. Um... But we are in brutal mode, so still got to worry about that. So this is the uh, roaster. We need the weapon essence here. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. so we got to try to get 20 kills with this because obviously, um, you know, I would like to try to see what happens if we like, you know, 100% like all the weapon essences and item essences and stuff. Oh, dude, I like this weapon. Oh, I like this weapon. This is a sick weapon. Does kind of have a long load up time, but I this oh this is a really cool weapon. D yeah, it takes really long time to load up. But that's okay. That's worth it. It seems like it could be really good for bosses too. Uh, and apparently there was an update um, since we last played that added like some new items and stuff like that actually. And potentially a new way to help find weapon essences or something or item essences. I don't really know. Uh, I didn't. I tried to look at the patch notes and then I couldn't find them. So I, I, I don't know. But allegedly, allegedly there was an update. So do with that information as you will. Because I've never really played the game before. It's normally I would be like, oh, you know, I would I would highlight the new content in the about in the update. But we're still just enjoying the game as it is. Oh, dude, this. This weapon is insane. What isn't this? Is this just a common? It's like acting like this is just like an uncommon or common weapon. This is so good. So, oh lord, we'll do some. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just go into the dungeon here. Let's go to a dungeon. Uh, Twenty currency. Uh, uh, and the the penalty is defeated enemies can bust into fire projectiles. That's fine. We could use the rest of that money for um. We could use the rest of that money for... 
Um, oh, does this shoot walls? Uh, for that beggar. Beggars tend to be pretty worth it. Okay, we need three more kills here to get the weapon essence. One more kill. I'm gonna probably hold on to this weapon though. So we got the weapon essence for this side uh, weapon. Weapon essence, get. Okay, now just to save ammo here. Oh, I don't want to kill them. Okay, 20 money, which we will happily give to the beggar. Oh, whoa, 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 I got caught on fire. Excuse me? I just lost one of three health here. Electricity bullets. Yes, please. I don't remember that. Like, that's the thing. I'm going to, like, just assume all of these are new items. Because I don't know better. So I could pick up the health there, potentially. Because we're still on brutal difficulty. Keep that in mind. And the reason I'm not going to go lower is because eventually, if we keep playing this game, I do want to try to get a win on... Um, invincible, so I don't want to like make the game super hard. Plus, we get you know it encourages you by giving you more out of game progression. So I'm gonna try to be a gamer. Okay, a little bit scared actually right now. Nice, picked up some health. Oh, oh, okay. looks like I was gonna take damage there. More ammo, more ammo ammo. Okay. Can't take much more damage. Um, I need to go to the other parts of the map. Woo! So we're gonna go. We gotta find a whole other, uh... There we go. Now we can kill the boss. Wait, whoa, whoa. Is that a thing? Is that the thing to make the game harder? Where was it? It looked like that was the thing to make the game harder. I do, in fact, want to make the game harder, game. Please present me with the option. I don't, I don't see present, I don't. I think I'm gonna need to buy this ammo. Actually, we could just go to the beggar before doing that. Oh my God. Okay, yep, that, we're still in brutal mode. I just took two and a half freaking damage. Okay, whatever. Two and a half damage from a single melee attack. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, so there's the beggar that I want to go to. There's a shop. Probably go to the beggar first, honestly. Where was the beggar? It's down here. That way we know how much money we actually have to do. Oh, we got lucky. It only costed 10. Hey, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and recycle. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we have the Thornbane. We also have this Stealther 45, which we need the weapon essence for, so I'm gonna prioritize using this. I really wanna hold on to the roaster. The roaster seemed really good. This is a shop. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. This is a challenge to make the game harder. Okay, so the next four health, uh, we don't get. Uh, it's like saving our babies or whatever. Um, oh, sell the roaster for 15 shards. I don't know about that. Um, <sighs> combo stomp souls. You know, I'm going to hold on to my money for now. A little bit of a risk. Okay, there was a... No, it was up here. So we want to buy the health. I don't know. I might just die here. This is very risky. Oh, boss is here. Okay. So this is our stealther. Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. I'm going to use the roaster here. Because this is way better range. This seems like a good boss killing weapon. So just the music in this game is so good. Oh!
Okay, now we got phase two here. Thing is... Oh my god. There's some health back there. Obviously, if I take it, it won't heal me. It'll only help with this uh, quest. Okay, he's at less than half health. This seems just like such a good boss killing weapon. That's why I want to hold on to it. There we go. Woo! First boss killed. For those of you guys that don't know, there's three areas. Boss each, and then we got the final area. Pick up more ammo, pick up some health. So we pick up more health. So we need to find one more health um, to complete this quest. Stompable electricity buttons. Sure, I guess we're doing like an electricity build. So we're hoping to find one more health. Cause I don't know if you have to do it on the same uh, floor. Hey, there we go. There's a the health. Okay. So here we go. We buy this. Health. We don't get to heal, but that's fine because the quest will give us a full heal and full uh, ammo durability. So that was so worth it. Because we are... This is a serious difficulty, right? Brutal is still brutal. So, I mean, you saw. We, we almost died. Almost got one shot by, you know, the thing. So we gained max health here, we'll up one, and then full ammo, full health. There's that other weapon that I wish we could like recycle, but whatever. So nice. Max health is everything on these higher difficulties. Okay, we're gonna keep keep the uh, stealther because we need the weapon essence and this roaster because it seems very good for bosses. Okay. Anyway, we can gain more max HP. Sacrifice, oh, sacrifice electricity bullets for max health. I hate to do it, but most likely absolutely. Trade a weapon. It wants my roaster, dude. You will not take this roaster away from me. It also, yeah, okay. Taking the max HP. So that is a good power up. The electricity bullets seemed really good, but nah. Max health, man. I mean, when they do freaking so much damage in one hit. So going into this area, area two with five max HP, that's better than normal, I would say. So pretty happy about that. We got a lot of money here. 31. So I didn't really see anything in the shop I really wanted. So trade. It's Dude, you will not get my roaster. It keeps trying to get my roaster away from me. Uh-uh. How many times do I got to tell you this game? Okay, this weapon looks underwhelming, but it seems really good. Also, I don't know where these guys came from. Stompable electricity button. Okay. I need 15 more kills for the weapon essence on this. Oh, there's our pet that we've created. How do I re how do I revive you? Dude, he wants my roaster to recruit him. No. Why does everything in this game want my roaster? It is not happening. It's not happening. And Dababu is not worth it. I hate to say we did not know what we were doing when we made that pet. That was like one of the first things we did with the out of game progression. <laughs> Dababu is not worth it. There also seems to be some sort of secret in the walls. Okay, can I, this breaks some, right? Yeah, what's over here? Oh, yo! A void caster. Okay, well, let me let me use this pistol first. Let me get the weapon essence for it, and then we can figure it out. Okay, 
right, here's a shop. Do have quite a lot of money, so. Yeah, we have 41. Hello. So we could upgrade the electricity button. You know, I'm gonna try to upgrade my item because the, the character items seem like the hardest to, uh, even though, you know, doesn't seem great. I really want to try to get the weapon essence on that. And it's offering me a weapon that I already have or super stealth. I don't know. Um, okay, I'll save my money beyond that. Okay. We need, what, eight more kills? Yeah. So this map, we have to find four of those little void statue things before we can fully kill the boss. Electricity button! No, they, they weren't close enough. Okay, two more kills. One more kill. A little bit more ammo for that. And there's some guys up here. And there we go. There's the weapon essence. We're making progress, baby. And if you don't know what this is, obviously this is uh, every weapon in the game. If you get 20 kills, you get the weapon essence. Every character, when you get a run with the game, you get the character essence. Every time you kill a boss for the first time, boss essence. And then every time you uh, get an item max leveled for the first time, um, you get the uh, item essence. Item essence seems to me the hardest to max out. But there seems to be, like, some secret ending that we, we might be able to get if we... Um, we do all that. So I'm going to go ahead and recycle this weapon. Just gave us some ammo. So now we can try out whatever this weapon is. The Void Caster. Ooh! Cool. I, th I was scared it was going to be a melee weapon. I'm just not a big fan of the melee weapons. So it seems like it could be pretty good. So once again, we need 20 kills. Seems like this could be good for bosses too. Is this thing wanting my roaster? Full ammo and health for, uh, for the roaster. I've never seen this game try to take something away from me as hard as it is right now. I promise, dude. It is wild. So, we don't need that. There's plenty of ammo and health all around. I've just never seen the game. Okay. I want the option to make the game harder. I haven't seen that option yet. I mean, I saw it earlier, but then I couldn't find where it actually was, so. So boss is gonna spawn. Oh my God. Single attack did all that damage. Okay, yeah, we can do some damage here. Oh boy. This doesn't seem okay, you know what? Switching weapons. Yeah, dude, the roaster. There's I I this roaster's just so good. Oh shit. Surprisingly didn't take damage there. Oh we gotta go for it, dude. Got to go for the electricity button right there. Ah! Oh. So we can only do half damage to him because we've only blown up two of the four. No, oh, sir. Okay, he ran away. That works. Okay. Um, said that there was ammo somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, the two more things we need to destroy. Oh, there. OK. 
Okay, not there. It's a weird map, honestly. Oh, oh my god! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I went down to one HP from that machine gun guy. Literally, dude, brutal difficulty. If I didn't have this max HP, we would already would have lost. In fact... Oh my god! Jeez! Brutal difficulty, man. Okay, well we'll do we'll do a redo here. I cannot believe that. So at least we got weapon essence on like two weapons, but oh, I mean that's just brutal difficulty, I guess. And we're, we're staying on it because eventually, right? I do want to learn how to. <gasps> um, to to be able to beat impossible, and I don't want to train myself, you know. To get worse at the game. Oh no, we're on... What are we on? Yeah, we're brutal, yeah. So, Invader. This is a new weapon we need some weapon essence for. And then we'll be able to get a lot of out-of-game progression after this. Hopefully we get a win. Because we need... We, we've we won with every single... There, okay, there we go. Wait, oh! Wait, oh, you have to stomp him! Oh! That's the first time I did that! I got an achievement! I, didn't, I thought you would just shoot him this whole time, this whole series. No, it's stomping him. So we got the electricity button that we had, and then another gun we already have. Or we've already gotten... Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's so brutal. Dude, he is just suffocating because of what we did. This game's insane, I love it. Okay. I still cannot believe we just... We, and that, once again, that was with... The extra max HP, right? Like... That's what's crazy. Okay, get some more ammo. We need 10 more kills for the weapon essence on this. Big old shopkeeper. Um, we don't have much. Let's see. It wants to get rid of the invader for 15 shards. Once we get weapon essence, I could do that. Hurt myself for five shards. Well, we'll come back. We'll sell this thing to him. I'm gonna kill all the enemies before I hit that button because um, once the guy has half of his max HP ready to get hurt, that's when he spawns. Three, two more kills, we get the weapon essence. There we go. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn him. Use the rest of this ammo on him. Yeah, this doesn't have great range. I bet the other weapon's honestly better. I'm just trying to use up this ammo before we sell it. Okay, out of ammo. Okay, we're gonna go sell the weapon now. 
we couldn't do much more damage to him anyways, so I'm gonna go sell the weapon. Okay, 36. Um, increased max ammo. Sure. Actually, no, I don't, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save my money. I'm gonna save my money. Oh, he spawned back here, which means I have to find this thing and break it. Okay, oh, I'm not, I'll do a little bit, oh yeah, this is way better against bosses, but okay. I gotta, I gotta find one more to break open, so. Here it is. So we'll be able to kill the boss here. This is a, yeah, igniter is a good weapon. Okay. The range on this is pretty decent too. Not crazy good, but... Stop! And phase two. Get some ammo. Oh, I got an achievement called Cause a Beacon to be Destroyed. Yo! I didn't know you could get beacons to get destroyed. It just summoned a legendary weapon. What? What? It's the first time I, I, I've never gotten that achievement before. I did not know beacons could be destroyed. Yo! -ho! Okay, so easy boss one kill. Hey, hey. We're, uh, we're playing some Voidigo fun game. Killed the first boss. Just found a secret legendary item called the Anti-Launcher. Oh my gosh. Seems pretty sick. Combo stomp bones. All buttons suck. We're gonna say combo stomp bones. I'm obviously picking items that I've never maxed before. Okay, anti-launcher, dude, this seems insane. We definitely need to get the weapon essence on this because um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it again. So 20 kills need to happen here. Oh my God, that's so good. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Secret legendary we just found via an achievement. Um, yeah, 20 for low gravity, okay. First time, time seeing Vortigo content doesn't seem like it'll be anything short of great. Yeah, this this is a roguelike that was in early access for a while. And um, it came out officially uh, this year, and it is amazing. We have 10 videos on it on YouTube. Kind of like Enter the Gungeon, way more insane. You gotta go to three areas and kill the three bosses, or three bosses, and there's alternate areas for each area, and then there's the final boss. But what's so cool about the game is it has really good out-of-game progression. So this, see this 11? Uh, every weapon, you gotta get 20 kills, and then you get the weapon essence, right? And so like, there's like out-of-game progression for every item, every character, every boss, every uh, weapon. And I think once you 100% that, there's a secret ending, I don't really know. So it's just, it really cool. Um, bullet ring on reload, ooh. That's the higher rarity one, so we'll take that. The game's just absolutely insane with all the items and weapons. Fun game. Okay, so... Sucks that we didn't find any max HP or anything, but whatever. So we'll get some more ammo there. There's plenty of ammo um, lying around. Because, um, yeah, this igniter could be replaced. I want to hold on to this freaking anti-launcher the whole game. That, that, that anti-launcher seems insane. Um, so there was that default weapon. There was nowhere to recycle it. It's okay. So we'll just on to area two now. Hopefully we find a way to get max HP that doesn't ask me for my weapon. I'd give up the fire weapon not not this cool one though okay sacrifice nope I will not give you max HP 
And we could level up bone slippers and give up the electricity button. Yeah, I'll do that. That's probably worth it. And now I could level it up again in exchange for 20, in exchange for that item, or exchange for my legendary. Thing is, is I, ooh, yeah, I have a lot of money. So we're gonna feed the beggar here. Okay, it was like 15, I think. That was not worth it. No, I don't, I don't think I want that. As much as I wanna like max upgrade items for the out of game progression. I'm so dumb, I should have picked up the ammo. I don't know why I didn't pick up the ammo. I was so appalled and disgusted with what the game had offered me. Oh, it, it, it brought it back to me. Oh, okay, that makes it better. That makes it better that it brings it with me into the next area. So I have two health things by default. Okay, okay. I'm less salty. So we're still gonna use this anti-launcher. We need to get 11 more kills for the weapon essence. Corrupted loot vortex. So it wants, oh, so it wants a really, okay, it'll give me a really cool item if I give up my awful item. Or not my awful item, but yeah, that, that's a good trade. Anyone else? Already took a bunch of damage though. Okay, sure, yep, Siege Master. Holy cow, so we have two incredibly powerful but low ammo count items. So, uh, have you played Mortal Kombat before? I played, uh, the, the, like, I think it was eight a lot. And my favorite character was uh, was Johnny Cage. That was who I uh, that was who I mained. I think I played technically a little bit of Mortal Kombat 9, but Mortal Kombat 8 was like the biggest one I played. I actually played a lot of that as a kid. So I'm, I'm a little bit scared of having these two slow firing, really powerful weapons, but I mean, they seem powerful. So as long as our ammo is not a problem. Nice, got the weapon essence for this at least. Okay. Open that up. So now we want to get 20 kills with the Siege Master. Um, okay. So don't feel like this shield is very good. Oh my god, yeah, dude. <laughs> I love these weapons, though. Another weapon recycler. Not trying to recycle these weapons here. Oh my. Oh my god, dude. Brutal difficulty, man. I just lost one and a half from a single melee. I'm glad I brought those health pickups with me, right? Okay, I'm gonna pick up this weapon. It's not as good. It's actually seeming to be pretty bad, but I need the weapon essence for it. So I'm gonna try to use this, get 19 kills. And then uh, I do not wanna fight this boss. And then we can recycle it. Whoa! Dude, why is this weapon so bad? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit scary. I don't know what's falling. What the hell is that? Oh, there's the boss. Dude, I just want health. That's why I came down here, man. Did I go to a brand new area? I'm so confused. Oh my God, dude. I. Oh, what? Oh, okay, okay. Because I, I, I don't want to end this video without getting a win on this character. So what we're gonna do, here, here's all the uh, meta progression or whatever, right? We got several more weapon essences, and that was actually all the weapon essences we got, <laughs> or essences. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on this progression for the end, and we're gonna go 
Uh, I'm gonna go back to... Yeah, no, we'll stay with Backbuckler. And, yeah, we'll stay with Shooting Star. But, and so instead of Brutal, we'll, we'll go to just Intense. Because at this point now, I just... I want to win with this character, right? That's, that's the biggest thing for me, so... Because that way, next, all of this out of game progression is going to be able to allow us to unlock the final character that we've never played as. And I obviously want to be able to focus that um, uh, next episode. So, dude, harder difficulties, man. Like, we've won Brutal before. We've never been able to beat Impossible, but we only had one video of trying. So, I'm going to just go back down to Intense. I really hope you don't have to 100% the game for a secret ending, but I'm assuming you, you do. It's just like, the items seem such a big bottleneck, right? Like, I already almost have all of the weapons. I guess I'm missing four weapon essences, which I had two of them on my character when I died, right? Or in that run. Um, and then obviously, we need to win a run with this character and then the character that we unlock. And then that'll be the weapon essences for those. Boss essences is... It's just like the item essence seems like such a bottleneck. So we're going to be taking a little bit less damage. We only get two, like, meta progression void things uh, per boss kill. Okay, this guy. This guy. What, what, are, what are you, dude? Might just be decoration. So I always get those confused with... Uh, the thing that allows you to make the game harder, right? Okay. Seems to be a secret ladder, but I don't know if it's just decoration or not. I also don't have anything that uh, can break that. Oh, I'm out of ammo, but there's some ammo, so we're good. So boss is going to spawn here. Honestly, I don't want to deal with him because I don't have ammo. Oh, there's... Oh. It's a loot vortex. Okay, we got a new item. It's actually an item that... We don't have essence for. Bone Rattler. Wait, what? Have I not got the weapon essence for the Bone Rattler? Okay. Well, we'll do some damage now here. I love the music in this game. We sometimes use this soundtrack in our rounds videos. Okay, so that is about all the damage that we can do until we break open another thing here. Oh, there we go, easy! Challenge the void, we can actually make the game harder. Which means we have to fight two bosses this floor, but we're guaranteed a bunch of loot, including a max HP, which we've talked about how good max HP is, right? That thing that was flying by looked kind of like the first boss after you defeated it from last run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude. Ran into that. Um, well, there's a health. Okay, so I need to break this open so we can actually kill this boss. Oh my god! See, just something did two damage to me. I thought I died there. So there's the second boss. This is gonna be really hard here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna just leave. I have one HP here, and I do not want to fight two bosses at once. Not at all. Okay, we're gonna buy... Oh, never mind. There's some health and some ammo. Okay. Um, well, let me see what is for sale here. Oh, this is a dungeon, not a... <gasps> max HP, but dodge the late... Okay, yep. This is going to be extremely hard, but if we win, we get a max HP. So we just need to kill immediately. So we have to dodge security lasers. We already did it. Oh my god, we just earned a max HP that easily. That's huge! 
And uh, so I want to take an item that we've never... Okay, shocking icon electric sprint during combat. You have anything that we've never beaten or never maxed out, right? Upgrading the items gets you the item my essence. I'm going to not spend my money on that. Which means if we get another max HP from... Okay, I'm going to go fight. The, the bosses are separate right now, so... One away from the weapon essence. Oh, now they're together again. Of course. Two bosses at once. Okay, got that one to phase two. And we got the weapon essence on him. I'm gonna try to focus on him. Just in the middle of it. <laughs> Get the weapon essence. <laughs> just excuse me, guys. Let me uh, let me just look at this weapon real fast. Okay. And so part of the update might have just like said it like ways, like in terms of like what weapons you're more likely to find. It might have just made it more likely to find weapons and items that you don't have the essence for. That might have been something the update did. I don't know. Some more health there. A lot going on. A lot going on. Took a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Okay, pick up that health. I think the other boss... Oh my god, that boss ran away right before he died. They don't heal or anything. Okay. It's kind of anticlimactic, honestly. What, are you still up here? I'm so confused. No, not you. I don't... I don't want to fight you right now. I want to fight the... Oh my god! This dumb damage. Okay, this is the guy that I want to kill. Yeah, you were like two hits away. Okay, ammo, health. I think that was the thing that gives us the guaranteed max health. So now we can fight this boss. Drop some ammo, which is good. For those of you guys that haven't seen this series, anytime you jump, that's the equivalent of a dodge roll. You get iframes. You can also stomp on enemies. So this thing's really good, but it eats ammo like crazy. Luckily, bosses drop health and... Oh, there we go. And I guess everywhere we sprint, we leave, like, lightning behind. Can you drop some more ammo, please? Hey, hey thank you. But you are guarding it pretty hard, though. Oh, he ran. Let's go get him. Chasing after you, mister. Get out of here. So both bosses defeated. Woo! Yo, yo. Some more ammo. So we already, I normally would take bullets become homing orbs, but we've already technically maxed that. So I'm gonna take beacon fire turret. I'm gonna just only prioritize items, right, that I've never maxed. That's kind of the goal. This is Voidigo, an amazing roguelike. We've got 10 episodes in a Let's Play series. Uh, it's kind of like Enter the Gungeon, Nuclear Throne, stuff like that. Sacrifice a power up. Oh, sacrifice that turret I just got for max health? Yes! Oh my god, are we going to have gained three max HP in the first thing? That is insane. It has a lot of awesome out-of-game progression. So right now we're trying to beat the game with this character. We're also trying to get a bunch of out-of-game progression by, like, maxing certain items and getting enough kills with certain, um, weapons. 
And then that way we can unlock a new character. <sighs> okay. Dude, we've gotten so much. And we're going to get one more max HP because we fought two bosses. Sell that shocking thing for 30 shards. It's like the only other item I have. But you know what? <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> I'm going to just be able to buy. I have 54. That is an insane amount of money right now. Starting a comic series with your friend? Hell yeah. It's pretty dope. Okay, here's the shop. Okay, so... Sell max health for 40 shards. Nope. That will not happen. <gasps> Combo stomp bats. Oh, we could buy the gym bot power up. Um, poison sprint during combat. Sure. So just buy that. We'll hold on to the rest of the money. So now we have poison sprint instead of uh, electric sprint. Okay. So. Oh, no, I went to the wrong place. Let's uh, skedaddle into area two. Oh, rocket cactus. Just sick. Oh, God. So. <laughs> that poison thing it just gave us, I could sell it for max HP. I could have even more max HP. Trade Bone Rattler for that. Nope. But I will claim my prize here of money and max health. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's sell this poison sprint for another max health. I don't think I've ever had this much. Mm, no. But I've never had this much max HP this early on. So I literally have no power-ups besides my starting power-up. But I do have a lot of HP. So... Well, let's do it. <laughs> That's a lot of HP. <laughs> A lot of HP for this game. Can we get a dungeon? Oh, corrupted loot vortex. So I, okay, trade a max HP for that weapon. I don't want to at all, but I will because I need the weapon essence. So I'll do it in the name of out of game progression. Harvest Scythe. Oh, what the hell? Dude, these weapons are insane. I love this game for how insane it is. Here's the shop. Um, we could buy full heal and ammo for 25 if we need to. Snake bullets. That's a weapon. That's a turtle. Faster bullets and longer range. I'm going to just buy that. We, we haven't seen that weapon, um, the turtle, but I kind of want this. Oh, so if I hold it down, sometimes I'm gonna actually be using it. So it's like a mix of a melee weapon and a... This is insane, actually. What the hell? This weapon is insane. I think when I like chop down those things I place, I think they blow up and do a bunch of damage. Insane weapon. We need 12 more kills with it for the weapon essence. Was that diamond thing I just stomped on? Um, is it, uh, so yeah, so how this game works uh, is, um, it's technically all about hunting these bosses. Oh, dang it, took some damage there. It's all about, yeah, this thing right here. So when I press it, look at that. So now I can do another 25% more damage to the boss and the boss will spawn when half of his uh, HP is exposed. So the boss is gonna spawn right here. And now when I deal damage to him, you'll notice that I can only deal damage up to half of his HP. So I need to go and look throughout the rest of the map and find the other two diamonds. They also prevent you from leaving the uh, floor or the room until you break it open. So that's another small thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this for the... Uh, so, I, so I can do damage up to half of his health. 
Um, and you can like leave, you can go to other rooms if you need to. Sometimes the boss will run away. Uh, and then in the next area, there's five things I need to blow up instead of four. Last one was three. So yeah, very, like this is a very, very unique game. It make, It is overwhelmingly positive, I think, reviewed on Steam. Uh, 1.0, I had never played the game in beta or in early access last couple of years. Um, see, so I kind of ran out of ammo here a little bit. So I'm gonna just, even though I could do more damage to him, I'm gonna just kind of leave him alone, run away. Um, but yeah, I had never, uh, never played this game. So to play it just in 1.0, it, it is an incredible game. What the hell? So we need one more kill here. Sacrifice max health for two random bundles. Hell no. Yeah, and the graphics here are amazing, 100%. So there's the weapon essence. And this all, all this essence stuff I'm talking about is out of game progression. It does kind of remind me of Wizard of Legend as well, yeah. But yeah, amazing game. Uh, definitely one of my more underrated series on YouTube. So it wants us to trade that power up for the snake egg rehand. I don't really want to. Let's go do a dungeon. Oh, okay, so this is, well, I don't want to recycle anything right now. So it's kind of a waste. Uh, okay. Dungeon. Oh. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's do whatever this is. There is low gravity, which makes it harder to dodge. You just want to go murder everyone ASAP. Oh, Lord. I'm going to take a lot of damage. I think I just got to accept that. Nice. The ammo. So what is this? Is this a weapon? Throwing star, man. Oh my god. Dude, yeah. So I think what the game is doing is it's making it way higher chance uh, to find items or weapons that you don't have weapon essence on. I think is what's happening. Um... Combo stomp rats. Melee weapons burn enemies. Uh, am I going to hold on to the harvest scythe for a while? If so, sure. It's a higher rarity thing. I'm not going to spend my money on those heals. Don't think we need to. A little bit risky, but I want to stockpile my money for elsewhere. So we need 20 kills with the throwing star, man. Oh my gosh. This is a higher rarity item for a reason, I suppose. Holy crap. But yeah, like this item is called Throwing Star Man, and it's a star throwing other stars. Like, I just... The absurdity of this game just makes it... Okay, so there's a recycler thing. So I'll probably want to go take my old weapon here. And recycle it. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna trade Harvest Scythe. Oh, there was a recycle right here. So Bone Rattler. We got some more ammo. Another weapon that we... Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, we're finding a lot of weapons that we need to... So, okay, I'm starting to have a hypothesis that you don't have to... Oh, okay, yes, yes, let's make the game harder. So we're fighting two bosses here. Um, I have a feeling... Okay, no, oh my god, dude. That you don't have to get the max whatever uh, weapon essence. Oh my god. With every single um, weapon, but with a just certain amount of them. Right? Because there seems to be a lot more weapons that I've never used that I still don't have the weapon essence for, so... Trying to get 15 kills. Oh, that's the boss. Okay, so break that open. 
So this raffle is definitely not as good. So we have to fight two bosses here, right? Because we made the game harder. Take a little bit of... Oh my god, I'm on fire. Dude, this raffle is awful. I'm just going to go to this dungeon here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just do a normal dungeon. Seven more kills. These little things count. Four more kills. Wait, there's a secret somewhere. Where was that? I saw something. Right there. Do I have anything that can break walls? I don't. These enemies might be able to. Can I get him over here? I don't even care anymore. Give me the weapon essence so I can... Oh, yeah. I do not like this weapon. Got it, though. <sighs> yeah, the only reason I'm not using the scythe is because these... I wanted the weapon essence for. But I don't plan to keep these. Fire bullets. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, still don't think I can break this open. Oh, maybe? What caught? Wait. Oh, is it the trees when they fall? Come on. Land right here. Land right here, trees. Trees, land right here. Damn. Trees, land over here. No. I don't think they're going to travel that far. Okay. So let's go recycle the, uh, the raffle. Down here. Bunch of ammo. And then the skeleton musician. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's just so many. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these weapons are amazing. That, that's why I love this game. Um, I'm pretty sure that you don't have to get the weapon essence with every single weapon. I'm like 90% convinced on that now. So we got two bosses to kill here, obviously. This is just one of them. Oh, actually, we still need a... Oh, there's the weapon essence for the star weapon. Um, there's still there's still one more uh, of that thing that we need to break open. Um, okay, yeah, I don't care. Let's go down here. It's gonna be in here somewhere, I think. Yep. Break it open. Okay, so let me try to use Bone Rattler now. We don't have the weapon essence for that. Oh my god, you took a lot of damage there. And 11 more kills here. Jojo has come here to say hello. Hello, Jojo. Hello, Jojo. You coming to say hello? You coming to say hello? What are you doing? Your brother's sleeping all peacefully. Yes, he is. What's up? What are you doing? You just looking around? Your dinner's not for another hour. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? Okay, I'm going to put you in your bed, okay? You want to go sleep with your brother? Okay. Um. Oh. 
So it wants for 20 a emerald turret. Nah, I'm okay. Uh oh, JoJo's coming back. Just don't step on my keyboard. That's the only. Oh, boss is boss is here. Yeah, fire bullets seems really nice. Fighting both bosses at the same time right now. And we got our weapon essence for the skeleton item. Ran out of ammo. We're gonna switch over to the throwing star man. Oh, excuse me, guys. Just one second. Let me uh, let me get the weapon essence. <laughs> excuse me. Because I it said we only needed like four or five more weapon essence, I believe. When last we just checked the out of game progression, and since then we've got like five or six more items. So I don't know. Okay, probably should pick up this health pickup. Okay. So one of the guys is on their phase two. Probably should focus on the guy on his phase two, but he's all the way up there. I don't know why. There we go. Whoa, you're fast, buddy. So obviously fighting two bosses is kind of crazy, but it's worth it. Oh, Lord. Okay, one guy ran away, so now it's just this guy. Which I like, and I, I'd rather... Oh, they both ran. Both little bitches. Okay. Um, yeah, I do not want to make that trade. Um, wait, wait, is that... I heard... Heard the guy laughing, though. That might have been the star, man. It's like... I think it is. Oh, it is. It's like anime costume changes, 30-second cutscenes where the enemy just stands there patiently. Yeah. Like, what is he doing? I just love the characters. Like, I just think about this game. Okay. It's just, you guys just gotta go. I'm sorry. Y'all just gotta... Y'all gotta go. So I want to prioritize the guy already on his second phase. So we're already almost out of ammo? So I might have to skedaddle out of here, actually. Oh my god! I got hit! I don't even know- okay, whatever. I got hit into a different area. Um, let me make sure. Is my cat- Can we not- Can we not, Jojo? I'm with some cables, okay. Um. <sighs> Isn't this the dungeon that had the secret you couldn't get? Um, so dungeons, once you leave them, you can't go back in them. So I'm gonna buy some health. So once we left that dungeon, there's there's no going back to it. Okay, I think we're okay now. Well, yeah, let me fight these guys one at a time. There we go. And I went to the right one here. Other guy came back. But we got that guy. So now we just got this guy to deal with. Got some more pi uh, pickups. Oh, took, oh, took a little bit of damage there. More than I should. Sorry, I keep interrupting, but JoJo's being JoJo's being a menace. I don't want you there, JoJo. I'm scared you're gonna turn my computer off again. Can you just chill? I don't know why you have to be there. Just chill. I'm just scared he's gonna turn my PC off. Also, hey, like 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 or just definitely pronounce that wrong, but thanks for the four months prime. Appreciate ya. I didn't even hear the notification go off. Yeah, I need to figure out why those aren't so loud. I need those to be louder. Oh my god, dude.
This boss is harder than I remember. I don't know why. I mean, I know part of it was because we were fighting two at a time. Okay, he ran away. I'm gone. I'm, where, where are you at? I'm following. Following you, mister. Oh, I could have just ran. I... More health. And he's out of here, baby. Woo! Okay, so yeah, I want to upgrade things that I already have. Though there are, yeah, incendiary bullets is what I want to upgrade. More health, more ammo. Um, yeah, I probably should buy more ammo. And then let me go check out the shopkeeper again. Before we leave. Oh, did I leave a weapon essence down here? Oh, that was just a, okay, weapon. Yeah, let me recycle. There's actually nowhere to recycle the bone rattler, but yeah, now that we have, or the skeleton guy, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get this thing. Cause we did have Melee weapons burn enemies as well, so I'd rather have that. And then I like this uh, star man thing here. Gotta keep checking on JoJo. Okay, um, 49. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade back buckle even though I don't want to. So we're one away from, because the character items seem some of the hardest to, to max upgrade if we're having to upgrade everything, right? Okay. So now, wait, what was that? I just keep hearing things. Oh, oh, I think they dig up sometimes shards. That's probably what it is. Okay, so on to area three now here. And we're guaranteed another max HP, which is huge. Happy that we were able to get two, uh, make the game harder twice in a row. Trade a weapon, so it wants the melee weapon I have for an upgrade bundle, which is tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Here's our max HP. So it, I would have to give up, no, that item. Give up 20 to upgrade that. 25% more speed and range, sure. That's really good against bosses. And then we can upgrade it again for the price of fire bullets or melee weapon burn. Yeah, I'll, I'll do for the melee weapon burns because I do, I want to max out items. That's like the biggest bottleneck for my out of game progression, I think. So anything that gets us closer to that. Oh, I could do it again. Do it again for 20 more shards. Yes. Ooh, our weapons have so much range and weapon speed now. Oh my god, I could max it for what? A max health? Or the fire bullets? Not the fire bullets. You know what? I'll do it for a max health. This is worth it here. Because I end up, you get a big bundle. I know I keep talking about how max HP is amazing, but there we go. I need item max. I need the item essences. And you get a bunch of stuff back for doing it. So we got the item essence for it. Let's go. Power up essence. Get. And what is this? Dodging spikes. Sure. It's the higher rarity one. Okay. And then a beggar. I got plenty of money for you, beggar. You're, you're taking a lot of it. That didn't mean take all of my money. There you go. So it costed 20. And I got a legendary crossbow? Well, now I can give up the scythe. Didn't something want my scythe? Yeah. Here's the scythe for a weapon upgrade bundle. You can get a friend. Or I guess it's just a bundle. Okay, let's get a protective friend. I don't know what that is. Freaking legendary weapon, the Void Piercer. Woo! Oh, and then something else. <gasps> oh my god, and then we get to upgrade, max upgrade the back buckler, even though it's not great. 
Now we have another item essence. Ooh, we're making so much progress. Also, yeah, this weapon looks amazing. Okay. So the item essence here. A back buckler. Okay. And now... I could get bullets to do sharp turns to avoid walls, soul boot attack on stomp, or melee bullets. I'm just gonna do soul boot attack on stomp. So if we stomp on someone, do something cool. Let's go, dude. That was huge, dude. This was. Oh, this was a very, very productive between phase areas. Probably the most productive between phase areas I've ever been to. So now we have our third and final air. Well, third area, and then we have the final area. This game, oh geez. This game reads like a fever dream in the best way possible. 100%. Oh my god, dude. That void piercer is insane. Okay. Let's it go. Okay, we're getting loot. There's another weapon. The Porco machine gun. Okay, so I'm gonna use it just to try to get the weapon essence. Even though it doesn't seem that great. Just gonna try to get 20 kills with it. And then switch back to this awesome weapon star item. Wait, th is this the first time we've been to the ice area? This might actually be the first time we've ever been to the ice area. Because we only unlocked this recently. Yeah, and this is a perfect place to recycle it after we get uh, 18 more kills with it. Oh, no, no, no. If this... Oh, wait. No, I've been to the owls. And I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. See, there's another weapon that we haven't gotten the weapon essence for. But I don't know. Maybe the update... I don't know. Maybe we have gotten the weapon essence for some of these and the... And the, the weapon, or the update messed with things? I don't really know. But there have been some weapons that didn't say that we didn't have the weapon essence, so it's not like it reset all of them. Do we need 10 more kills here. Dungeon. Oh, that's a max heal and max ammo. That's a weapon. I'm going to do a normal one. I don't need a max. Uh, yeah. Don't stop. I'll just do a normal one. Actually, I'm going to use the void piercer. Oh, Lord. I, oh, God. Come on, just 10 more kills here. Then I can stop using this weapon. It's not terrible, I just... Okay, now we're out of ammo, so... Dude, this Void Piercer is crazy. Okay. Shop discount, bullets knock back enemies, chance to spawn exploding crystals on impacts. Say shop discount, even though we're in the final area. Whatever. Buy some ammo here for this Porco machine gun. So I can get the weapon essence. That's the thing though, it's like I don't even know if I need to keep doing this anymore. Like I feel like we've hit the max. I don't know how this game fully works, but. Nah, we've got to have been here before. And we have our range and attack speed is insane since we max upgraded that one thing. I can be so far away from people. Okay, boss is not going to spawn yet, I don't think. Oh, never mind. They are. Yeah, we've been to this area. We fought this boss. The prophecy. I 
I just need three more kills. Okay, I'm buying more ammo here. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna run. What is that nightmare feel? <laughs> Everyone does not like that guy. <laughs> Shopkeeper. Buy full heal ammo durability. Soul boot, faster respawn. We'll do more incendiary bullets. We'll upgrade that. Okay. So yeah, we need the weapon essence on both of these. We just need ammo. Hello. Oh yeah, we still, okay, yeah, there's like a spooky area. We actually, I think we're about to maybe now unlock it. The alternate area for the third area. Yeah, once we collect those two more, we'll unlock the, uh, yeah, I forgot. We've never gotten the alternate area for the third area. Well, now we have. We have now unlocked, so in the future, when we get to the third area, there's a chance that we can go to an alternate area. I'm gonna just do as much damage as I can. Oh, Lord, dude. You know what? We're just gonna keep running. There's a lot going on. Okay. Picked up the ammo on the other thing here. Porco machine gun. Um, pick up some ammo on the void piercer. Okay. Do you need a couple? We need, what, three more kills with this? Come on. Two more kills. I got an achievement for killing 25 of these elder guys. Okay, one more kill. I took damage just because I want this melee. Come on, dude. Do I really have to pick up more ammo? I just need one more kill with it. Does this even do damage? Okay. Fine. Oh, Lord, dude. I just need one more kill. I don't want to have to use an ammo pickup on it. I suppose I have to. Okay, screw you. I'm going in the dungeon. Oh, yes, yes. Upgrade. We want to upgrade things. That's how we get the item essence. This area will have magmoth, babies, thunder, and magflies that'll emerge constantly. A little bit scary. I think we'll make it work, though. Just need to kill everyone. Easy as that, right? Nice. I think we got the item essence for the void piercer. Apparently so, they're babies, yeah. Apparently so. But now, where's the other... Okay, yeah, and there's... Okay, nice. And then we'll buy some ammo. Hate to have to use one on this. But now we should be able to get the weapon essence on this. So... Okay, yeah, let's upgrade incendiary bullets. If we upgrade it one more time, we get the item essence. Those things do not look like babies. That is true. It's very true. You are not wrong. Ooh. A melee weapon shock enemies. Stompable ice buttons appear. Shh. Oh, or anti-void attack. Let's do that. I think we've had that before. That's really good. On reload. Okay. So we need one more kill with this Porco machine gun. This boss is putting up a fight though. You know what, I'm gonna hit this and then we're gonna run. I just want the weapon essence, man. I wanna let go of this.
There we go. Got it. Got the weapon essence. I wonder if, if you hit what the max of the essence is. My guess is that it just gives you... I don't know. I don't know what out-of-game progression would do after you've already unlocked everything. So I don't actually know. But either way... Final one. So now we can actually kill the boss. Maybe should have waited until I killed all these other people. Though this Void Piercer is good at like hitting a lot of things at once. So... A lot going on. Some ammo. He's doing whatever that is. About to go to phase two. Our pet is dead, fortunately. Uh, he will come back. We're gonna go take this ammo. Okay, here we go. I don't know what he's doing or what he is. Kind of an abomination of a boss, to be honest. Oh, Lord. There's a lot of damage there. Let's pick up this health. Oh, took a little bit more damage. That's okay. That is an acceptable amount of damage. Oh. Kill the boss, kill it with fire. It somehow looks better in phase two. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, yeah, max upgrade, or not max upgrade, but upgrade that. That, the ammo. Okay, so a couple more, couple more rooms for us to go to. Go ahead and recycle the Porco machine gun. Though I shouldn't until we... Yeah, we, there's other weapons here. I was right. You killed it with fire. <laughs> okay, we're going to sacrifice Porco machine gun. Just got some ammo. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's go... Whatever this other weapon was. What was it? What did we drop? Was it the melee thing? No. Oh, it was the throwing star man. Yeah. We had the throwing star man. Totally forgot about that. Okay. Uh, anything we probably want to spend because there's not going to be a shop next phase. So we'll upgrade this soul boot because it'll be close for us to maybe max or something. And then uh, beacon powered emerald turret. Sure. Just getting a bunch of things because this is our last shop here. So, once we finish clearing these up, we're going to get to go to the final area. Hopefully, get a W. Dude, yeah, the range with the Star Piercer. That is a legendary weapon, but... The walls, okay, what about, ma no, I just want max HP. Defeated enemy spawn, computerized cursor attacks. That's fine, I'd rather have max HP, to be honest. Rather have more max HP. No, no, not the cursor attack. Oh my God, dude. What the f Okay, we're bringing out Void Piercer. This cursor attacks hurt. No, not the cursor attacks. Not the cursor attacks. Took so much damage. Cool. So max HP. Auto aim bullets, banned auto aim. I'll take that. Especially since we have so much range. That was good. Certified good. Uh, trade that power up the yeah the emerald turd for an upgrade bundle absolutely come on give, give me some more item essence here yes oh wait wait, wait. no oh yes yes soul boot 
More item essence. Dude, we've made so much progress. That's what I love about this game. It's just so satisfying to play and do all this out of game progression. So we got another item essence. Which is going to give us... Stompable wrap buttons. Love the stompable wrap buttons. And the item essence for that. And uh, item essences are actually really worth it, right? When you when you max something up for the... Uh, it might be all the time or the first time, but it just kind of like chain reactions. You just keep getting more and more and more items and stuff. So, okay. So we have our two weapons. Um, let's go ahead and make sure we have like full health and everything, right? There's not anything else we can really spend our money on, I don't believe. So we're going to go ahead and buy a health here. And then there apparently was some ammo. And then we'll go on to the final area. And hopefully get a win with this character, because that in itself is another type of essence. Um, okay. Let's do it. Let's go to the final area. Okay. So, sacri- Yes! Whatever that don't take spike damage, I'll take a max health for it. Yes, please! <laughs> yes, please. Uh, Dabubu. <laughs> if I feed Dabubu my other pet, I'll get my custom pet. But my custom pet's not very good, so I'm not going to be doing that. So we just gained a max HP and um, lost that item. That's 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 a good trade. Okay, welcome to the final level, ladies and gentlemen. So this we kind of just need to uh, bum rush this. This is a very fast level. We just kind of need to bum rush it. We need to just pretty much go and just run from level to level, to be completely honest, because I'm pretty sure the boss just like, well, I guess it doesn't spawn, but I do have auto aim, but yeah, auto aim is, auto aim with what I have going on right now with the like max range is unbelievably broken. Okay, so we just want to go pretty much and immediately, yeah, because boss is here. I swear, Jojo, if you, Jojo, Jojo, uh-uh. No, sir. I ain't even risking it. No, you're not going to turn my computer off, mister. I don't know why you got to be on my computer. Not during this time of all times. You guys have already turned my stream off twice. No, sir. I ain't taking no risks. I even got a stuffed animal over the, <laughs> the computer, or the power button. No, sir, Jojo. Okay. Okay, so we need to... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lock going on. Lock going on. Already taking damage. Oh my god, I, I just need to run. And because it's the Puppet Master and he spawns all the bosses that we fought before. So, we just want to go to every level. We want to make sure we can actually kill the boss, right? That's what I'm doing here. We want to just make sure we do this here. Oh, it's over here. Every time you go in a room with a boss, you have to break it open, even if you've already broken it open. Okay, final one. And then we get to just fight. Okay, here we go. So now we're fighting. Now we can actually kill. I don't know. Okay. Oh, Lord. Probably good to use the Void Piercer. Though I don't know if... No, actually, it doesn't seem so. Seems like this... Uh, throwing. Dude, I'm taking so much damage. Why am I taking so much damage? It's just like everyone else. This guy's got two phases. He actually has three phases, but... I think we have to do the out-of-game progression to be able to do the third phase. Just a lot going on here. This is why max HP is so important. But yeah, having all this auto-aim and the max HP is why I think the throwing star man's uh, ending up being a little bit better here. Still got an okay amount of health. There's an item that I am not going to experiment with right now. Oh my god, dude. We're only at three health left. They've all been dropping ammo, but not health. Sometimes they drop health. I don't know where my health is. I would like some health, please. Come on, drop me some health. Red button!
Okay, that's phase one. Where is my health? Okay, okay. Oh, I think I have some time, actually. Okay, phase two. We did get one health. Our uh, pet is back. Hopefully a good distraction. Oh my god, oh my god! We just lost two of the four HP. I'm just trying to stay as far away as I can get. There's health. I'm sorry, I just gotta go quiet and focus here. It's almost dead. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're a gamer. Oh. And there we go. There's the character essence for beating the game with this character. Oh, let's go. So obviously um, we could loop, but I've never really tried or cared for it, honestly. Um, but yeah, see, like we can't, we can't, the, the puppeteer guards it fiercely, right? So... There's like something that we can't like fully beat the game, right? There's looping. I have never even bothered to want to care about that. Give me my W. Give me my W. Okay. Dude, we probably got so much out of game progression. So first of all, we gained 26 Void Essence. And okay, here we go. This is the first time we're gonna see what happens when we do the Essence. So that was the character essence, four out of five. Champion after champion. See, yeah, we had 50. So 50 out of 50. What happens? Your fierce weapon wielding broke the unbreakable. Oh! Oh! Okay, so this was us unlocking the third final area. Or the, th the alternate area of the third area. Let's go. New world expansion, got the achievement. The north, you've unlocked a new area in the north. New boss, challenge, and enemies. So, okay, that's really cool. So, what I think happened here... No, wait. Yeah. Backdrop. So there's 171 weapons in this game, y'all. Like, can you think of a, a roguelike? Like, that's such an insane amount. So, yeah, I was right. So there's a minimum, right? We needed 50 to break this open. Now you still get to do it, I guess, if you're trying to 100%. Um, so I am right. I think the item 
the items are going to be the biddle, uh, biggest bottleneck because once we beat the care, uh, game with the character that we're just about to unlock, uh, that's that one. And then once we beat the boss, that uh, is the boss of the alternate area of the third area, that's that. So the biggest bottleneck we're going to be on is we need to max out 12 more items, which we only got um, 13 of them right? It's grind because the amount of content, not the difficulty of unlocking it. That's what makes the grind good. Yeah, there's so it's so worthwhile. And now we're going to get to do the last expansion, I'm pretty sure, for the final character here. So this is what you use all this currency for. We've just done a lot of it. So we have unlocked... New character, Clozo. You can now play as the heir of the throne of Imperia. Hell yes. We're going to pay three to open up his uh, house. And then we're going to open this up. We're going to pay five each to open up his starting weapons. So we have unlocked all of his starting weapons. And then we go over here. We pay eight to unlock his uh, secondary or his, you know, his second ability. And at this point in time, I'm pretty sure we have unlocked everything we can with this void essence. Drifting borrowed winds, he floats through the land. Is there any? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no longer a need for Void Essence. Let's see. Is there any more else to expand here? Oh, I guess you could do it for pets. Wait a minute. We could actually... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll save up. Because I forgot you can use them for pets. So, next time, we'll use... All, because we, we always say that our custom pet... See, Dabubu was a custom pet we made. Sometimes he shows up. Uh, he's not good. So, maybe we'll use the currency for the next... Um, you know, next time we play um, to uh, actually get a, a better uh, thing. Oh, yeah, this game also is co-op, by the way, if you, you weren't already sold enough. But there we have it. We made so much progress. Um, and uh, next episode, uh, we're going to play as the new character, um, hopefully get the, uh, you know, win with him, uh, find the new boss. And then the biggest thing that we're going to be trying to do is just the uh, items, right? Uh, grinding out the max level items. We need 12 more. And then I believe we're going to be able to fight like phase three or whatever of that final boss. I don't really know what to expect. Um, maybe we even uh, lower the difficulty a little bit just to like get the grind, not the grind, but um, you know, um, since we no longer need the currency or so anything, uh, just that way we can, you know, find the secret ending. But either way, I love playing this game. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Thank you so much. If you're still watching at like an hour and a half plus, um, I know there's some of you guys that really like this series and I definitely want to keep playing the game at least until we get to see what all of that progression up at the top was. Um, you know, maybe I don't need to 100%, 100% the game, but I at least want to see what this alternate ending, if it exists, or this other phase. We want to figure that out, right? So uh, I'm glad you guys have been along for the ride. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell. I go the big boy YouTubers say, who be notified? Uh, and, uh, you know, check out our playlist for some other crazy builds. And if you guys are going to be uh, grinding out some Void to go, uh, wish you guys luck. Stay tuned for the next episode when we check out the new character, and I'll see you all next time.